Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? You may remember last week here in Garali, uh, Garala, I should say, I had a bit of trouble with the Horsch Direct Drill and I couldn't get it to work, it wouldn't drill at all and I've, so I've tried a couple of different bits, I ploughed a little piece and I cultivated a little piece and it still wouldn't work, I just could not get that drill to work at all and I have no idea why, well I had no idea why. Since then I've tried a couple of different um, solutions and one thing that I have had on this map, I've had active on this map, is the, um, I've got uh, the chop straw add-on um, which basically if you use your combine over on a field like this one over here, we we'll just go over to field 63 here a minute, if you use your combine on a field like this with um, like canola or something like that on it the combine should shred the crop and spread it across the field now I've got chopped straw activated but chopped straw isn't actually on this map and I think it was because I had the direct drill add-on tied in with it and what the direct drill add-on does is with the chopped straw once you cultivate it basically counts that uh, layer of straw that it's chopped, that layer of crop residue that it's uh, chopped up and spread across the field, it counts that as a layer of fertilizer after you cultivate it. But it doesn't recognize it with a direct drill. And the direct drill add-on, all that does is just add in the ability for it to be recognized so that the chopped straw is added as a layer of fertilize, fertilizer even after you use the direct drill. So. I think it's to do with the fact that chop straw isn't actually on the map. So I've disabled, I've actually still got chop straw running, um, although it doesn't actually need it. And I've disabled the chop straw add-on, the, um, the direct drill chop straw add-on, and it's now working. So, it's so it was something to do with that, it was a conflict with that, that um, because you know it wasn't available on this map, that's what prevented it from working. So I have now cured that problem we can get started on our drilling. So I'm just going to back this one up here a minute and get this plow hitched on so that I can move it out of the way. And let's go down here and hitch that one on. There we go. Lift that one up out of the way. And I'll bring this one over here and I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet. So I'm just going to park up here a second and I'll just lower it down. I'm not going to unhitch it there. We want to get going over into our New Holland and we're going to start on the big field which was my original plan anyway and we are going to try and sow that field. We have three tons of wheat seeds on board and we have two tons of fertilizer. I'm hoping that will be enough to do all of this field at least, maybe a little bit more besides. I don't really know it might end up not being enough to do even this field so we'll have to see. What I have done is I've done a little test with the AI vehicle extension on this field. Now the AI vehicle extension does kind of work for trailed vehicles, but it doesn't work very well going around the very edge of the map. It does seem to struggle with that, so we are going to have to do this one manually. Let me just bring that one back out and we can unfold it. So the question I asked you all last week was, did you want me to do the next series, the one on the South American map with the new DLC that's coming out? Did you want me to do that for um, the whole series as much in cab as I possibly could? And it was a very close vote. Now I did influence it I think a bit by stating that my own personal preference is not to use in cab driving. I don't particularly enjoy it. But I was willing to do it for one series and at least like the majority of it. I would still do out of cab stuff for it but uh, I didn't want to do too, I, I didn't I wasn't gonna do too much out of cab I was gonna try to keep it in cab for those people who really like it and we had 1,475 people answer that question 703 people said yes do do it and 772 people said no don't do it stick with your normal style almost all of it out of cab if not you know I, I will go weeks and weeks without doing any in cab stuff at all and it would appear that most of you do want me to do that, but it's actually, it was very close. 703 versus 772. That's actually a very, very close vote. So I will do some in-cab stuff for those of you who are voting yes. I'm just not going to do a great deal of it. You know, I'm going to have some lights on on here. It would just make this a little bit easier. So, yeah, when we get to South America, I will do some in-cab stuff. I'm just not going to do very much. So let's just bring that one back and... 
lifted out of the ground and we can go on round to this side and we can back up. So I was thinking long and hard about what I could ask for my question for this week. We've only got, uh, I think it's about three weeks now before the release of the new map. So we don't have very long at all. And I don't really think I should be asking any questions about what I do on this map because I really don't think that we're going to have time to implement any different any changes or anything like that so it's kind of an exercise in futility almost to try and do anything like that so i was wondering what question i could ask you about the next map that we could use so let me just stop there a moment just turn that off and i'm going to stop the engine and i'm going to go over here and we're just going to remove this last bush here with the chainsaw we should still be able to do it even though it's now spring and not the middle of winter i'm hoping that we can yes I love that little pop sound it makes. And I really, really love the fact that we can get rid of the bushes in this. This is the single best addition to any map that I have seen for a very long... We've got quite a few here. Um, you do need to plow underneath them first. I did try several of them without plowing first, and that doesn't seem to work. You've got to plow first, and then after you've plowed, you can then go along and you can just do this. And it, all, it removes all of them. <laughs> I love this little doing it makes every time. It never, never fails to, never fails to amuse me. I'm, I'm never going to get bored of that. So, yes, my question for this week is obviously for the next map, as I just said. Um, I'm thinking that we will, well, we're going to be doing cows to start with. Now, in theory, this one, these should not be able to be done because we haven't ploughed underneath them. Nope, nothing. Nothing at all. And there's nothing up there. Okay, so let's get back to that tractor. Um... We're going to be doing cows to start with. You voted for cows, and we're going to start with 160, the same number that we got here. And I'm going to make sure that I've got some fields of grass and stuff like that ready in order for me to be able to do that. But what I want to know is, do you want me to progress into pigs while we're on that map? Because if you do, the way that a Let's Play pans out, the, the sort of the, the best way that it seems to play it is to kind of have things ready beforehand, because it takes too long otherwise to get anything in place. So, would you like me to do pigs at some point on the next map? If you do, I will make sure before we start that we have in place some fields of crops, various different fields of crops, um, so that we can then harvest those crops when uh, we start, well, when we're sort of ready to start moving into pigs. We've then got the fields available that we can grow our own food for them. If you don't want me to move into pigs, if you're not going if you don't think that you want me to do pigs at all, then I don't need to worry about that. I can sort of concentrate on the sugar cane and having the fields ready for the cows. And we don't need to worry about extra fields of crops ready for pigs at a bit, you know, a bit later on. So it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Will you want me to do pigs at some point? on the next map, in the South American map. Will you want me to do pigs at any point while we're doing that Let's Play? Right, we are nearly done one round on the field and I'm going to try putting this onto the AI vehicle extension and let that one carry on and do the second round. And we'll just sort of see how it copes with the corners and stuff. Sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't. Now, I've not really done a great deal of stuff with the AI vehicle extension um, since Watea Valley, the one that was set in New Zealand. And that one I found, it was okay. You, st you still have to do the outside round. But once you've done that outside round, it does actually seem to work reasonably well. It takes a little while to sort of get round the corners and stuff, but it still does okay. And it takes, it gets all of it. It doesn't sort of leave like a little bit on... Um, on the edges which the standard AI does do the, the standard AI will leave little patches it does it in dead straight lines and it leaves little patches everywhere where it's sort of finishing one line and moving into the next and then you've got to go round yourself and you've got to manually take out that final row unless your field is dead square so I sort of I have had success with the AI vehicle extension on uh, trailed drills but I don't know just how well it's going to work, especially considering that we've got two separate fields being joined together here and we've got different textures. We've got ploughed land. We've got the crops that have been 
um, that are withered. I mean, officially, they're not withered. Officially, these uh, the withered crops aren't here. They don't exist. The farmers that owned these fields before we bought them, they came in and they harvested all these crops. All of this stuff here that looks like withered crops, now that's just a figment of your imagination and it's not really there. So hopefully this is going to work. I'm just going to bring this up. Actually, I think we're going to engage it just here. Going along this straight bit, I think will be enough. If we go from here, we'll let it try and carry on now. It's got to first read the... Um, the field dimensions it's got to figure that one out and as soon as it's figured that out just under 10 hectares it will then start and being that there's like a lot of curves and stuff i don't know how well it's going to work out here okay well it's, it does all right at the moment with gentle curves it seems to cope just fine with it and i especially love the ai vehicle extension for uh combining combines it works absolutely beautifully never had a complaint with that it just does a fantastic job so this is the real test now is how well it's going to deal with this corner and what i think it does it'll back up then it'll position itself with a new corner after it's done that it will then back up and um, dig in and start cultivating now when i did a brief test on this it did actually it worked all right on the outside round but it tries to get too far over because it does have a habit of cutting into corners so that corner there it does try to sort of straighten the corners up to um, make it work a little bit better or however it might be now you can see it here he's just straightening up the tractor and then he should be away you can see why this is difficult with fences around the fields if you've got fences around the fields i would recommend that you manually do twice around and you can see here it's starting to straighten up and obviously that being on the outside round makes life very difficult because what it does is it rides up the bank and then it doesn't actually cultivate uh, it doesn't cultivate or plant or do anything at all it misses it completely and it won't go back and it won't pick that up so it will come up to this point here and then it's going to do the same again it's going to do that same maneuver around the corner and then once it's done that bit it will then continue on and what you can do is you can just kind of watch it go round the field the first time or two and you can help it out a little bit by manually dropping in like this and just kind of straightening up a couple of little bits for it so that it can get round the corner by itself. And that way it's not going to have as many difficulties getting round. So I'm just going to do that here. I'm going to straighten up this one and come back here. And then I'll dip in again and I had my lights on. I want to keep those on for just a moment. You know, if I come up this way, like that, and I try to sort of bring that reasonably straight along the edge there, now I can come out. I'm just going to quickly whip round and do it like this. So then, if I dip into the field back here, more towards this corner, and I come back over here, it should now leave us a nice straight line for it to for the AI to follow which shouldn't be too difficult for it so if i come up like this and i get it into so that it's um first just first started committing to the crop there we go and then i press h and let that one carry on switches the lights off which is a little bit inconvenient but now it's got a reasonably straight track to follow and it will just follow that curve up round. it's not got that extra maneuvering on the corner that it's got to take care of which is going to speed it up quite a bit because the one letdown of the ai extension is doing the big corners that's where it really struggles it struggles to get round those corners quickly the standard ai does seem to get up and down sort of work up and down the fields faster than what this does now we're going to let this go round a couple of times and then we're going to try engaging the other version of the um the ai program where it does just move up and down it does the land work the moment we're doing the headlands and we're going to try and get it to do three headlands before we switch it over I don't think there is a way to get it to manually do that, but I am just going to stop a second and I'm going to check. Hopefully I've stopped it soon enough on this corner that it will be able to get round there. So if I just go control H and I go to the options here, I have never actually tried setting a headland. 10.5 meters, 15. Now our drill that we've got, oh I see it's got two settings you can have. I'm guessing that's related to the actual machine that we're running and i think that's a three because what what is our machine let's just go okay on that and we've set that we've decided that we've got a headland on it i'll just go to the shop and see what the uh, drill is i'm not actually sure what that one is 
if we go to the in here and the horse there that is a nine meter drill and we've got a 15 meter headland that it's except so i'm not really sure why it's 15.5 meter headland i'm not sure what the significant of that is, significance of that is but we'll see let it come round and see if it's going to automatically switch over to doing uh, non head if it'll switch over to doing the land work once it's finished doing a headland absolutely i've never ever tried this before you'd think that i would really considering that i do use this an awful lot so that's got going around ai vehicle mode circle but we've got headland activated on it so what is that going what does that mean what does that entail he's trying to straighten himself up here but that's just because of the way that it works going around the corners I'm going to let this one carry on, and he should be fine just to carry on. Actually, no, we do. We just want to, I'm going to let it go through here a minute. I'm just going to watch this through, make sure it gets through that piece up there, okay? And then we're going to go to our case, and we're going to get another drill going. Well, that one seems to be working absolutely fine, so I'm just going to bring the plow down here in the middle of our machinery field, and I'm just going to drop it off here. There's no need to go and place it anywhere else, I don't think, so let's just unhitch that one. There we go. And I need to head up to the shop and get the other drill. I will also, I think, just load it up at the shop because I can start that one working out the other end of the farm rather than down at this end. Because obviously we got the New Holland down here, so we can sort of, we can kind of work them from both ends of the farm. At least that's what I'm hoping. Shop's closed at the back end, uh, or the front side, and it's closed here as well. So we can't actually get in yet, and I think it's actually seven o'clock before it lets you in and literally you cannot get in there's, there's no way to open those gates until you get to seven o'clock in the morning so i think we might jump forward in time let's just switch this engine off a moment there we go and we'll go back to this one just to see how this one's getting on it's almost completed two rounds and after it's done these two rounds we'll then be able to find out what the uh, headland setting on the AI vehicle extension is going to do whether or not that is actually going to make any difference whether it's going to change its behavior once it gets down to that far corner and this is the crucial point what happens now is it going to change its habit is it is it going to do something a little bit different now that we've got to this final corner or not I don't know if it's going to try to turn around and start working across the field from this side up to that side or if it's going to go back up that way it's not going to make any difference to it whatsoever it's at the moment turning in this way it might be that because i've already done an outside round it's not going to do anything at all with this headland setting okay it's not changed anything so far it's just going to drop it down here and it's going to carry on so we'll let this one now what's it doing Oh, it's backing up a little bit further. Okay, I'm going to let this carry on down through and see what it does when it gets to the other end. By the way, it's backing up here. I think it's most likely just going to go straight into the next corner and it's not going to turn. Right, I'm guessing that that headland setting is something to do with just when it's working up and down the field. So I'm going to leave this one go because I'm quite happy for it to do a third full time around the field and then once it's done that we can set it to working up and down the field after that uh, we do need to fast forward time now until seven o'clock so i'm just going to go back to this one and we're going to leap forward to seven o'clock so that these gates open and we can get in and get our next drill we've also need to buy a couple pallets of fertilizer and seed i think it's three tons of fertilizer uh, three tons of seed and two tons of fertilizer isn't it let's soon find out uh, yes, it is that way around. And we are open. S slow that back down again. I don't want to... I don't want to waste the day. I, I need the day to kind of just stay where it is. So we come in here and we'll hitch on that one. And as you can see, I have got the Vidaman. I promised you ages ago that I would buy that one back. Because as... If you may remember, if you, if you remember, uh, our poor Vidaman got destroyed. Um, we, we, we lost... Not destroyed. It got stolen. Um, we, we lost the Vidaman. Somebody cruelly and callously came in and stole it, and um, we were unable to get it back on the insurance claim, so we've had to buy another one. And here it is, 
waiting for us to use and basically what happened was there was an update for it and I updated it and um, it removed the old one from the game which was a little bit unfortunate so yes we have the updated version now and we can go here into palette so we want two uh, three of these yep and another one and another one okay and then we want two of these now I don't know if the pallet forks are going to work on the vitamin I haven't actually tried it yet but it'll be interesting to see if it does work. I absolutely love this machine. Let me in. There we go. I genuinely, genuinely love this machine. I think it's absolutely cool. Tiny little wheel loader. It's brilliant. It's just so perfect. Let's just bring that in around. I, I tell you what. I think this one would be the one to get for um, Gold Rush. You know, we when you get to the end of Tier 1 in Gold Rush. Right, now the problem is that it doesn't want to actually hitch on. Oh, there we go. It's finally done it. Um, you get to the end of Tier 1 in Gold Rush, and you can't actually... Um, you, you've kind of got a shovel, and then you upgrade to a big excavator. I mean, it's technically it's a small-ish excavator. But I'd like to see kind of a step in between that, and this machine right here would be absolutely gorgeous for that purpose. Now, obviously, we cannot reach high enough to, um, to, to get inside that drill. That's, that's just not going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to bring this one up close to the uh, huge, great big high point on there. And we're just going to bring it over to there like that. And then if I just jump off, and we're going to refill it manually. So what you have to do is you have to use your bucket to refill, and it does it like that. So there we go. We're just using a bucket to scoop it out of that pallet. And, well, actually, we did that to the one on the floor, but hopefully this time it will do it to the one that's on the pallet forks and it'll fill it up there we go so now we need to go over here and get back into this machine do the same again we just lift them up and get them roughly in place and then we can uh, load them up put that one i can bring that one back there we go i'm kind of holding it correct whoa <laughs> Okay, the, the response for this one is kind of strange because once you stop the command, it doesn't stop dead like it normally does. It actually spends, it, it like takes a little while to slow down. You've got a little bit of momentum built into the mod and how it works, which is actually really cool. I quite like that idea. Let's jump in here and load that one up again. So that's the final pallet of seed. We just got to put in two pallets of fertilizer and then we are done. So let me leap out back in here. This is a time-consuming way to do this. It would probably be easier if we just pulled the drill around and um, went up beside the pallets and did it. But it wouldn't be as much fun. We, we, we've got to at least use this vitamin once. Even if we never use it again for the rest of the series. I did promise you that I would get it. So I now have it. And you can't say that I haven't fulfilled my promise. Even if we don't actually do anything useful with this machine whatsoever, we have done it. I'm going to bring it around here. I wonder if it would make any difference. It would be, I suppose it would be more realistic if we had it nearer the front steps. If we sort of had it here, because then we can stand on those front steps and we can load it up like that. There we go. Now we've got a realistic approach to it. So we can put that one down there and then I'll have to jump in here to do it, unfortunately. But we can load it up. And in goes the fertilizer. There's a thousand liters of fertilizer. We've got one more to do. And then that one will be full and we can go and start doing some drilling. I'm going to take this one straight up to the top fields and the ones around the pig farm that we've had for a while. And then the, the bigger ones that, well, we've got like a, a couple of fields that we've joined together um, to make some much bigger ones. Some of the new stuff that we've bought over that way. We'll do those a bit later on. So I'm wondering what we're going to do. We've done some barley. We're planting wheat, um, but we'd already done canola up here. So I think that we'll plant wheat up here as well rather than planting any canola and my joystick is still moving there we go and jump back in reload oh I'm, I'm on the wrong machine I want to get back into the tractor let's come over here. there we go that's better and just reload that bit I'll put I'll park the vitamin over there next to that red tractor I'm not actually sure what one that one is we'll just go and take a look so let's jump back into here lower this one down so yeah I'll do wheat up there by the pigs and then canola can be done over that way in those new fields over here. Is that a Zeta? I think that's... Yes, that is a Zeta. So we'll park this one here next to the Zeta. Just like that. And that one can be here. 
to be used at the dealership whenever we need it. I mean, not that we're going to be here very much longer. We are moving to South America very soon. So let's close down that lid and we can start heading off to the field. My timer is going off to say that we have run out of time. I just want to stop here a moment before we start this one. I want to get over and I want to check this one here and see what it's doing. It's back to... Oh, it's gone to the top corner. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off the AI vehicle extension a moment. And I'm going to bring this one up round this way so that it moves up and down the field from this side. And we're going to change the setting on it so that it moves up and down the field rather than... Actually, it's going to want to move in a little bit tighter than that, I should think. Probably come into about here, I would guess. There. Let's try and do it like that. So we go Control H and I'm going to keep the AI vehicle on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to up and down mode. So if I go here, we've got a headland set on here. Turn offset. Uh, I don't know what that is. We've got circle mode there. Manual steering. Wait during unload. See, there's several. Oh, connected field only. There are several different things that we've got on here. Uh, that I'm not entirely sure about but this one I do know we don't want it on the left we want this one on the right so that it has the working side on the left hand side it has the outside edge of the field on the right hand side so that means it will go down there if you have it the other way it will sometimes it'll automatically change it to carry on down that way but other times it will then try to turn around and head this way instead but that should be okay there so if I can just get rid of that press H it should now start working its way down across the field it will start here and when it gets down to the other end it should turn around and come back up on this pass now my question for this week is when we get to south america are you going to want me to do pigs later on to start with we won't be to start with we're doing the 160 cows that everybody said they wanted me to do uh, but later on would you like me to do pigs because if you do I'm gonna make sure we've got a few extra fields down there ready before we start the series so that we can sort of move into pigs a little bit easier and we're not stuck with trying to get a bit of extra land and trying to get all the crops and everything in place before we start buying them which is just going to be tedious we did all that in Sosniovka we've seen it before so if we're gonna do pigs we're gonna to want to be able to move straight into them so that we can sort of get into the more into the thick of the action and see what it's like handling a larger number of pigs rather than just trying to start off again so if you would like me to have pigs i need to know now so that i can get it prepared before we start the map so yes or no do you want me to have pigs in the south american map head into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner it's your vote it's your game and yes I am very well aware that I just said that in completely the wrong order but um, we'll cope we'll live with it so now we see the vehicle extension doing its turnaround and this is the bit that takes so long and this is one of the reasons that I generally prefer to have the standard AI take over at this point because this one takes such a very very long time to be able to turn itself around and it's a bit frustrating However, on the other side of the coin, it does follow the field edges. So if you've got a long curve on a field and you want it to follow that, use the vehicle extension because it will do it. Even though it takes a little while to do its turnaround at the end of the field, it still follows that curve in the field. And that's actually really, really useful at times. If you've got great big square fields, it makes no difference whatsoever. You can just carry right on using the standard AI and it does a faster turnaround. And that's the literally the only difference um, for a straight field, the standard AI is better. It does the faster turnaround. For a curved field, like we've got here, we've got a slight curved edge. You definitely want to go with the vehicle extension because it will keep following that curved edge the whole time. Um, you just sacrifice a bit of speed on it because of the turnaround times at the ends of the fields. So that one's going to carry on there. It's going to get hung up on the pylon in the middle of the field in another few passes. So we'll have to come through and manually help get it round that one. But it's not going to be a major issue. So we can worry about this one up here. I'll get this one out of the field, but we'll make this, we'll give this one, get it started in our next episode. Um, if you enjoyed this one, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.